coronation of King Charles III will act as a pressure cooker for Prince Harry's feud with the royal family as the Duke of Sussex jets to the UK for the ceremony on May 6, it has been warned. According to Sarah Hawkins, CEO of National Family Mediation NFM, a family gathering, like a wedding, christening, funeral, or coronation can act as a pressure cooker for those in conflict. Her warning comes as it was reported organizers at Buckingham Palace are growing increasingly concerned over the lack of information regarding the Duke's visit to the UK and his attendance at the coronation, with some suggesting anything could happen. Harry will be forced to bow to Camilla at King Charles' coronation warns Kay Burley while Prince Harry, 38, has confirmed he will be attending, it has been reported that the palace is still in the dark about how long he plans to stay and when he is set to arrive, with some organizers fearing the king's youngest son may pull out at the last minute. Discussing major family gatherings with feuding relatives, Ms Hawkins said, It's never pleasant to be locked in a dispute with a loved one, but as we have all witnessed major family gatherings can act as a pressure cooker for those in conflict. If like the royal family the argument has been brewing for a while, try to get together to discuss the root cause of the disagreement before the event. Even if you don't manage to resolve things, it may be that you can agree to disagree, and it could help to stop things escalating. NFM is an Exeter-based charity which helps families following a fallout, separation or divorce to navigate disputes. The charity suggested that while few family fallouts are as public as those of Prince Harry, Prince William, King Charles, and their respective partners, the issues the royal family are experiencing are not unusual. Don't miss! Boring Meghan and Harry told to give up and move back to UK, latest, Prince Harry believes Prince William purposefully made him the spare, insight, poll, should Prince Harry extend his UK visit over coronation? Poll, Ms Hawkins said, most families experience conflict at one time or another, it's just that most arguments tend to happen behind closed doors. Sadly, for the royals their fallout is happening in the public eye, but no doubt many people will relate to the issues that they are experiencing. She added that while Prince Harry has every right to raise his grievances with his family, the Duke has also done several things that seem to have added fuel to the fire, and which the charity would absolutely caution against in mediation. She said, firstly, to bring about an amicable resolution it's essential that both parties get their views across and feel heard. Of course, when you are in the thick of a fight it can be hard to see the other person's point of view but telling your mates down the pub, or participating in a televised interview, about what your father and brother did to upset you, rather than speaking to them directly, is not going to help in the long run. Likewise, if you want to avoid things escalating further, we caution our clients against airing their dirty laundry in public, be that over social media, or in an international best-selling memoir. Ms Hawkins also indicated that it is very difficult to move from your standing point once you have declared your position to the world. She added, in order for people to move forward and make better decisions for both themselves, and their families, there always need to be some flexibility and this can be much harder to do when you feel you have to openly backtrack, especially when those views were aired whilst you are in an emotional and vulnerable state or position. Regardless of what is driving the dispute. Everyone involved needs to make a decision about whether they want to mend bridges, or simply find a way to coexist amicably. Mediation can help to turn arguments into agreements, which not only helps with making decisions for the future but can also allow those in conflict to move on with their lives which is particularly important where children are involved. Commenting on the royal dispute, Ms Hawkins added that once the coronation is over, Prince Harry and his family might find it easier to resolve their conflicts. 
she said, This has been an extremely difficult time for the royal family, which is constantly under scrutiny even when they are all struggling with major life milestones such as childbirth, or bereavement. It is my hope that once the coronation is over that they have the opportunity to meet and mediate over the issues that they have experienced, and what can be done to mend bridges between the warring parties. Needless to say, our door is always open if they ever want to consider mediation as a way forward.